Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're going to discuss how we can use switch multiple selection statement inside our C program. So from the previous tutorials guys, we have learned how to use if. We also have learned how to use if else and of course how to use the nested if else statement inside our C program. Now occasionally, there will be an algorithm that you know will contain a series of decisions in which a variable or expression is tested separately and the output or the statement or the actions that could be taken depends on the series of decisions this is what we call multiple selection and c provides the switch multiple selection statement to handle such decision making so now let's try to look at the basic syntax of switch statement so the switch statement guys starts with the keyword switch and then open close parenthesis and open close curly braces and inside this open close parenthesis is the variable so variable of interest so the output guys or the statements that are executed depends on the value of this particular variable here so we have here switch statement or switch keyword and then open close parenthesis and then the variable or expression and then of course open close parenthesis and inside this open close parenthesis guys are the case label okay so, so for example you want to check for the value of one and then it should be followed by the break keyword which means that it signifies the end of this particular case one okay and then you could you know add several case label here so for example case two and then you could add the break statement you could also add another case label three and then the break statement um, and of course you need to add the default case so the default case guys will serve or will be executed if there's no case label that satisfies the, var uh, the value of our variable or expression. So, so for example, we have here 1, 2, and 3 and the input is 4. So it's gonna, you know, uh, execute the default value or the default uh, statement, default case. Now, we could, inside this particular case, we could execute some statements so for example you have chosen case one so we could end this with a semicolon so we could do the same for the other cases so like this so in this particular case you have chosen case two and you have chosen three and the default is you haven't you have not chosen from the uh, values one and two and three so one two you have not chosen a value in one two three okay so we can try this guys and of course we need to add a variable here so in input and then we could you know uh, scan f or ask the input from the user so percent d and then the variable input percent and then input okay and then guys we could uh, print please choose a number number one two or three okay so let's try this Okay, so let's try to build and run our application. So we have 
uh, we have to update this. So variable of interest is of course the input. Okay, so let's replace this with the input and then um, build and run our application. So as you can see, it's going to run and um, we need to input a number here. So please choose a number between 1, 2, and 3. So, so for example, we choose or we input 1. So you have chosen case 1. Okay, and then let's try um, another one. So for example, 3. So you have chosen case 3. So basically, guys, it uh, executed the statement under this particular case label. Okay, and... So, for example, you have inputted or you have uh, selected number 4 instead of the values 1, 2, and 3. So, it's going to uh, execute the statement under the default case. Okay? So, you have not chosen a value in 1, 2, and this is uh, should be 3. And we could also use letters and characters inside our switch case statement. And basically, here in our example, we're using the int type as the data type for our variable of interest input. And then we're setting the um, case labels into int1, and then int2, and then int3. And then we're executing statement based on the value of our input. Okay? But as I've said, we could use characters or letters. And so, for example, you want your user to input letter A. Um, you want your user to input letter B and then you could execute statement based on that particular letter. So for, for now, let's try to implement this inside our program. We want our user to input letters A, B, or C and then we could, you know, output uh, different statements based on that particular character. So now we could display instead of please choose a number, we could, you know, um, say here, enter a letter. You could select A, B, or C. And then, um, based on this particular letter, we could output or um, execute commands or execute statement. Okay? And then we're going to use the method um, get, get char. Okay? So this will return the int um, equivalent of the letter or the character that the user has inputted. Okay, and then we could try this inside our switch uh, statement. So instead of using case one, we could say here case a, and then here we could use case b, and of course here we could choose or set the case C. So every time the user types in the A, so it should print, you have chosen option A. So we could copy and paste this. So B, and then of course, uh, you have chosen option C. And in our default, wrong option okay so we could try this let's try to run or build and run our program so enter a letter a for example we type in a so you have chosen option a so let's try this once again so for example the letter that has been or the user inputted is B, you have chosen uh, B. Let's try this once again. So, for example, the user types in D and then it will display wrong option. Okay? And then, of course, guys, you can make it this way also. So, for example, you want to um, add also the uh, lowercase of letter A. So, case and then the lowercase version of A. So, you could do it like this. So, you have case A and then case with the lowercase a. 
And then you could also do the same with the B. And then you could add the lowercase uh, B here. And of course, you could also uh, do the same for your C. So uh, lowercase C, lowercase B, lowercase um, A. So it's going to, you know, um, execute based on this. It doesn't matter if it is uppercase A or lowercase A. So let's try this once again. So for example, you want B. So you have chosen option B. Okay. So let's try this another time. And then C, lowercase C. So you have chosen option C. Okay. So I think um, it is clear to you how to use the switch case statement in C programming. And if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I think that's all there is to it, guys, for this tutorial. And see you in the next video.